The Music Activity Center is also a place that has had to adjust to the pandemic. The concert band hall now has its music stands spaced out every six feet, and the room I was in maxed out at 50 people. Very, very, very different. Much, much different than a um, we would have expected. This is how Walker Emmert, president of the Singing Cadets for this academic year, describes singing through a mask and singing without one, something he will never take for granted again. For one, you're hearing a lot more of your voice than the voices around you. Um, you don't hear sound carrying as much throughout the room. Even though singing with a mask has changed a lot of what he knows, he's still singing his way through it. We still show up every day um, we sing with the same energy and we just kind of hope that, you know, we'll eventually get through it. With the pandemic and with many events placed on hold for the group or even canceled, Emmert says while it is disappointing, they are not hanging their heads just yet. Because the fall semester is, is very busy for us. We do a lot with the Aggie football team. We do a lot with Veterans Day, things like that. Um, and we do have a 10 day winter tour um, over Christmas break. All that has been taken away. David Kipp, director of choral activities and director of the Singing Cadets, is in his 26th year with the group, and he says leading these guys and representing this university is a dream come true. I love what I do. Working with the Texas A&M Singing Cadets is a dream job for me. Kipp says none of the cadets are music majors, and the purpose of the Singing Cadets is to enhance the public relations of Texas A&M and to develop disciplined leaders of character. we got to fight for the and that's what we do. And uh, so these guys are here not because they're going to get a class credit, not because uh, they need to this class as a music major. They're here because they love what they do. Horse, these horns are sawed off. Short. Hey. Hey. Kip says during the time of what he would consider a six month spring break before being reconnected, the music is healing for them all. We're very fortunate to have a university that's very supportive of what we do and believe in the mission and purpose of what we do. They're just stellar gentlemen, and uh, they are the best recruiting crew that Texas A&M University has. It's the spirit of Aguila. As history tells it, the Singing Cadets began on campus as an all-male glee club founded in 1893, one of the oldest student organizations right under the core itself. And over the years, the Singing Cadets have transformed to be one of the top collegiate choral groups, performing in front of more people across Texas and across the United States. Reporting from Texas A&M, Hannah King, 25 News. Hannah, thank you. Brazos County officials want